this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. So once again, America has shown us that if you can't win, cheat. And if you can't win by cheating, celebrate the losers. This guy here in the middle is the one that interfered with a play at Yankee Stadium where he took the ball out of Mookie Betts' glove. He and another guy and celebrated. So after the game, he went to a bar and these guys wanted to take a picture with him because they're celebrating the fact that if he had to cheat to win, he would have done that, even though it was just a foul ball and the guy was called out anyway. So that's all that's going to happen with a foul ball. You're out. You're out. You're out. But they are celebrating this guy. Look how happy they look. It's just like they won the Civil War. They're always trying to win the Civil War. And that's what this is. Look at these guys. This is a metaphor for how many of us view America. Now, y'all stay with me for a minute. This is the actor F. Murray Abraham. He portrayed the character of Salieri in the movie Amadeus, which was about the composer Wolfgang Mozart, who was one of the greatest composers of Western classical music that has lived. Salieri was the music composer of the day until Mozart showed up and showed true genius as a musical composer. Salieri sat back and watched as Mozart composed compositions that he just simply was not capable of doing. He said, all I wanted was to sing to God. He gave me that longing and then made me mute. Why? Tell me that. If he didn't want me to praise him with music, why implant the desire like a lust in my body and then deny me the talent? So this is what Salieri said after he witnessed the genius of Mozart. He called himself the patron saint of mediocrity because he was not able to compete with the genius of Mozart. These guys right here are Salieri. They have a desire to be great. They have a desire to be genius. They have a desire to be outstanding baseball players. But the problem is, they are not. But guess who is? Mookie Betts is the Mozart of the baseball game. And these guys up here who are taking the ball out of his glove after he has caught the foul ball are Salieri. As you may or may not know, Wolfgang Mozart died very young, and there are rumors that Salieri poisoned him. And there's a lot of these type people in America representing America. These are the DEIs. These are the true DEIs of America. These are the people who cannot compete on a level playing field, but they have a desire to be competitive. No, 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 no. They have a desire to be superior, but they were not given that gift like Salieri. He said, why give me the desire to be this great composer and not give me the talent? That's the same thing with these people. They have a desire to be great baseball players, no doubt, but they don't have the talent. But this is where the problem comes in. This is where the insidiousness of it comes in. They are willing to cheat to win. And that is where the problem comes in with these two. And that's the comparison. You have people who have a natural gift, a natural talent for genius, and you have those who do not have it. And those who do not have it will take it by force or cheat or They'll just turn around and celebrate the loser. They will turn around and celebrate mediocrity. So America, drink a toast to the patron saints of mediocrity.
And just to end the video on a high note, the Los Angeles Dodgers defeat the New York Yankees in five games to win the World Series. So see, sometimes even cheating doesn't work. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.